everybody, it's Nick Miller from MiniQuadClub.com. I'm here today to start reviewing the Epic Mini 280 from Multicopter Builders. Um, their website is MulticopterBuilders.com. Uh, this is the model of the Epic that will support 6 inch props. Uh, there's also a 380 that supports much larger props and a 260 which I believe supports 5 inch props. So we're going to be looking at the 280 which is probably the best of both worlds. It's not as big as a 380 um, but it's also not as small as a 260 meaning that you're going to be at a really nice prop size where you can use a, uh, a set of 5x4 tries on it or you can use 6 inch props. So you know this is a pr pretty much a good size, a good in between at least in, in my mind. You know it's, it's not too small, not too big. Uh, so let's dig right into these plates. <clears throat> The uh, top plate, as you can see, has Epic Mini uh, cut right out of the top of it. There are three uh, SMA slots right on the top to uh, mount your SMA connection through. Some side channels that are cut to put straps through. I'll be using some wrap straps as normal to hold my VTX underneath this plate. And then there's this peculiar little latch, uh, and I call it a latch because that's actually what it does. Um, it latches a cord to hold the GoPro in place. So as you assemble the clean plate and the top plate, there's an offset right here <clears throat> to hold the GoPro and so you would take an elastic strap put one end through this hole, one end through this hole and then put both ends around the GoPro and then latch it around this little cutout and that's going to hold the GoPro in place with that elastic and allow it to sit there in the frame and be really easy to change out just pull them off, put it down and change out the GoPro you know, as you need to so kind of a nice feature um, speaking of nice features <clears throat> originally I considered that I was going to put some moon gel underneath where the GoPro would sit on this plate, but then I realized that the frame actually had bobbins to help isolate uh, this plate from the dirty since it's a clean plate. Now before we start talking about the bobbins or talking poorly about the bobbins, I know we've had a couple other frames in the group that have had bobbins that have given us problems and major crashes, but I'm here to tell you that this frame won't uh, have that same issue. And the reason being is, is that it was developed so that the bobbins attach to the frame through this set of holes, and right in front of each bobbin are these larger holes. Well what happens is, you actually attach a smaller, shorter standoff through these larger holes and it gets capped off with a, um, a washer and another screw so that in a bad crash the plates actually can't pull apart. It'll actually top out against the screw before the plates would pull apart from the uh, dirty, before the clean plate would pull apart from the dirty plate and that's really a nice feature because I used to have to run two wrap straps between the dirty plate and clean plate of my other frame just to hold the plates together in case the bobbins would rip and so all my electronics would be damaged and the problem with that was is that the wrap straps that were being used to hold the plates together were also transferring more of the vibration so yeah you know two wrap straps in the middle of the plate between two of the plates did do the job but it also added a bunch of vibration so it really negated the whole entire you know point of having the bobbin so really looking forward to testing the frame since it has bobbins but also has the bobbin stops and that's what I'm going to refer to them as for this review I don't know if there's an official name and I apologize if there is but for the point of this review these are going to be called bobbin stops so again uh, I'm really looking forward to these because um, I think that uh, I know how the bobbins will you know provide a jello free experience but I'm always worried about how they'll react in a crash and this you know this very well could be the answer so I'm really looking forward to that uh, this plate is a 1.5 millimeter thick carbon fiber. The first of the, the uh, dirty plates here is um, 2 millimeters in thickness. It has some cutouts in it to reduce the weight. Nice clean cut, um, symmetrical in design, uh, very nice. And lastly, the bottom plate, or the belly plate as I refer to it as, <clears throat> very smooth. Um, I'm going to probably coat some of this with some... Uh, some um, liquid tape as well as uh, this power distribution board once it's wired up with some li liquid tape and mount this guy right here. I'll have power come off the side to the, the lipo in the back of the frame and then I'll have the ESCs all wired to this guy. So again since it's carbon fiber you're going to want to coat this with liquid tape. I might even put a bed of electrical tape underneath that too just to have it sit on something that's a little bit uh, more substantial you know just in case. So uh, that's how I'm going to rig that up. Uh, just to talk about the rest of the pieces that are that come with the kit, um, obviously there's some hardware, some screws, and some uh, w nuts with uh, nylon inserts in them to stop them from uh, from coming loose in flight. And there's these arms. Now let me talk for a second about the arms. Uh, they're three millimeter in thickness, very very sturdy, zero flex to the arms. Um, I'm going to be using uh, 2206 2000 kV T motors on here because I'm going to be running this on 4S, which is what I suggest you do too if you want to get maximum performance out of it. And uh, these arms are certainly up for the task. They're um, very, very thick and very well made. And like I said, there's zero flex. So 
Um, to round out what comes with the kit, um, there's some nice aluminum standoffs to attach the clean plates and top plates together. There's some shorter standoffs that help um, on the four corners of the two dirty plates. Those shorter standoffs get attached. <clears throat> and then you have um, some spacers for the arms. And uh, really that's about it. Um, here's the washers I referred to that you attach to the top of the bobbin stops to prevent the frame from separating. And that's really all there is to it. So again, uh, this is the Multicopter Builders Epic Mini 280 frame. Um, and we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to start putting this together. So uh, stick around and we'll talk about uh, how this uh, build goes. Thanks a lot.